hope you're doing well um if you're new here welcome to the channel i encourage you to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the words that the lord gives me to share um so before we hop into the word today let's just take a moment to pray dear heavenly father i thank you for being with us for guiding us and directing us through our path in life Thank you, Father, for making the way, for being the light that shines the way, Father. I ask for your divine protection over me and all your children in this hour. I pray that you reach out and touch those watching this video, Father, in a deep and uh, personal way, Father. I pray that you may bring whatever healing they need, whatever breakthrough they may need, whatever encouragement they may need, Father. I pray that you bring them destiny helpers, Father. I pray that you bring divine connections into their lives, Father, to help them along their way. I pray that you strengthen them and encourage them to continue walking with you, Father, to surrender to you even more fully, Father. And I ask, Father, again for your protection. I ask that you send your angels to encamp around this to fight our battles on our behalf father i thank you for going ahead of us father to clear the way father for us to be victorious in you in jesus name i do pray amen and holy spirit i say have your way help me to relay the message today in the way that god's children needs to hear it <laughs> amen all right guys so the word today is basically do you trust god to do it through you um so the lord was speaking to me you know and the last word he gave me was surrounding trust do you trust him um do you trust that he is making the way for you you know that um, what he speaks to you is coming to pass. But he started speaking to me about trusting in our own capacity to be used by him. <laughs> it's like, you know, um, do we even see ourselves worthy to you know, do we see ourselves worthy of being used by God? Do we trust that what God wants to do can be done through us? You know, um, do we see ourselves as a vessel that the Lord can use, wants to use, is using? You know, or are we focused upon our weaknesses? Are we focused on our weaknesses rather than the strength of God? Are we putting our weaknesses ahead of God? Have our weaknesses become like idols? You know, is that where we're putting our attention rather than on the fact that God can do anything and he can use anything and anyone? <laughs> um, <clears throat> Praise God. So... Um, I just read the short bits that the Lord, you know, like gave me directly as I was meditating on this. Um, you may trust that God is capable of doing something, but do you trust that he can do it through you? Are you open to him doing it through you? Have you committed to doing what the Lord commands you to do? Praise God. And so the scripture that he gave me to go over this word is Ezekiel 9 11. It says, I'll just read it off and then I'll give you some backstory so it really makes sense here. It says, Then the man in linen clothing who carried the writer's case reported back and said, I have done as you commanded. Praise God, I feel the Spirit. <clears throat> All right. So, 
I just want to highlight here, you know, like how this man says, I have done as you commanded. So it means that, and in this chapter, as we'll see, the Lord gave him a task to accomplish. Was it an easy task? If you look through this chapter, you see that it was <laughs> kind of an outrageous task. But yeah, he says, I have done as you commanded. And this is just a man in linen clothing who carried the writer's case. He doesn't seem like any, you know, mighty man of valor. <laughs> you know, anyone of great importance, anyone with any great wealth. He was just a man. And yet, when the word of the Lord came to him, when the Lord's instruction came to him, he followed through with it. You know, it was not about what he could do in his own strength. It was about what the Lord had given him to do, what the Lord had empowered him to do, because this is what the Lord commanded him to do. And so the Lord will not bring you to a place that he will not carry you through, right? He will not give you a task that he is not um, empowering you to do, right? And so, you know, I just feel to say like there is this like shift in focus that we need to allow to happen, right? Where we're not focusing on what we can see, what we have seen, what we think we can do, but rather focusing on what God can do, right? And recognizing that God uses us to do those things. God wants to flow through us. God wants to speak through us, act through us, think through us, plan and strategize through us, right? Are we open to being used by God? And so I'll just read uh, um, verses 3 to 4 in this chapter, Ezekiel 9, just to, you know, give it a little bit of backstory, some foundation. Uh, it says, Then the glory of the God of Israel rose up from between the cherubim, where it had rested, and moved to the entrance of the temple. And the Lord called to the man dressed in linen, who was carrying the writer's case. He said to him, Walk through the streets of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of all who weep and sigh because of the detestable sins being committed in their city. Um, and there's more to it, but I don't want to <laughs> go more into it because it's a little bit of a gruesome chapter, to be honest. Um, but it was a big task that this man was assigned to do by the Lord. As you see, the glory of the Lord moved, rose up from the Ark of the Co Covenant and rested upon this man. So this man was empowered <clears throat> by God to carry out this task. <clears throat> and he he got up and did it. Right, so, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> praise God. So, yeah, um, the Lord just wants us to be ready to carry out, you know, whatever assignments that he has for us. Um, and, you know, we might look around and say, okay, well, there are so many people already speaking God's word, doing God's do, you know, like, where is the place for me, right? Um, should I even be bothered because God is already using <clears throat> this person and that person? But the Lord says, no, I want you. I want you to do what I am assigning you to do because... It's it's a special assignment, you know, like you can reach a, a particular set of people 
you can do a particular set of things. I have placed like such specific um, experiences in your life, such specific desires in your heart. Um, you know, I have these specific plans for you. I have these specific plans to accomplish through you, right? So no matter how many people you see <clears throat> doing my work, speaking my words, there is still a place for you. So do you trust me to accomplish my will through you, through your life? Are you willing to surrender yourself so fully to me that you don't even question my ability to work through you? You don't even question um, whether this is something you want to do or not. You're just so willing to flow with me, you know, that when I speak a word, when I give you a task, when I give you an assignment, you pick yourself up and you go, you get to work right and this honestly like spoke to me so deeply um even right before i came on here you know like the lord was like really speaking to me deeply about it um and i know like <laughs> i can see like even within my family you know how the lord wants me to apply this um and so you know i just thank god for his revelation and his insight and i pray that some part of this <laughs> at least um touched you um helped to empower you uh inspired you to you know go to god and ask him to you know renew your mind renew your heart posture um you know to strengthen you to be able to surrender to him more fully um you know, there's work to be done, and uh, the Lord is looking for those ready ones. There's a lot of work to be done, <laughs> right? So uh, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. So I feel like that's, you know, a good jingle <laughs> to keep in mind, um, you know, a good scripture to meditate on also uh, within this theme here you know like um there is a place for you there is a place for you in god's kingdom there is um there is like a niche for you to fill um work for you to be done or work for you to do <laughs> and um yeah Praise God. So I pray that you receive this word. Of course, as always, I encourage you to take it to the Lord to receive, um, you know, specific instructions relating to it for you and uh, see if the Lord has anything else to reveal regarding it. Um, yeah, and I just pray that wherever you are, God's Holy Spirit will reach out and touch you, that God's fire will spark afresh in you and uh, you will feel that burning desire to get to work you know with whatever task the lord has for you all right so praise god and i thank you lord for using me as your vessel to reach out to your children ah <sighs> praise god guys all right so I pray blessings over you and, you know, just thank you for tuning in. Um, so with that, I'll leave you with the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Until next time, shalom.